Hello dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I am currently going to be doing a plan with me um, for this week of November. Um, I'm going to be using um, this digital monthly goodie that I got from for being a Patreon for Sissy's Art Cafe. Um, so every month she does a little digital and what's nice is that um, she does the like a clear outlining uh, in PNG for Cricut users. Um, which is really great. Um, so I just put it, uploaded it to my Cricut and made it so that it's two sheets and I'm just cutting it up right now. I love these little um, monthly digital goodies because it can, kind of gives a little bit of uh, different things to use, especially uh, when she does it by season or theme, which is nice. Especially the little washi stickers. I absolutely love those. Um, definitely check her stuff out. So now that I've cut them up, I'm going to take a few of the pages from my Happy Planner um, booklet. And this is the fall. Um, I do love these, especially um, with the little photos and stuff. And I do use it all year round, depending on what I get. Um, I love to get it at Michael's when they have the discounts um, or like the... 50% off sometimes or wholesale discounts. I'm actually watching uh, a new video from Nina. I'm gonna link her stuff down below. I do love her journaling videos as well. It is Sunday and so nice outside. I was actually thinking about doing um, a little mini picnic if I have the time, but I'm recording a lot of stuff today. Um, I have a Daiso stationery haul video coming next. Um, I might do it this week, um, but I got a few stuff. I went to the Scarsdale's location and I actually really, really liked it. Before, I've only been to the one in Flushing, New York. Um, so it, it's a little bit small. This one was definitely a lot bigger and I got a lot of stuff. Um, I can't wait to share. I'm just gonna go ahead and start um, doing the little weekly. This week has been okay. Um, definitely <laughs> nerve-wracking but I'm relieved and happy with the results I mean change is gonna take a long time but it's a nice sigh of relief for sure my anxiety has gone down a bit because of it um, if there is any that you guys recommend that you love to watch please comment below i always love finding um, new people to follow and support i'm actually going to do another video this month of um, small business uh, haul small business stationery haul the few artists that i kind of supported and was able to get some stuff so look out for that Paper. And these are actually some craft envelope, craft paper envelopes that I got from Muji. Um, I do enjoy Muji a lot. And this pack literally was like a dollar and like fifty cents. Um, I have used them to send letters, but they are a bit thin, um, and I'm always afraid that it's not going to um, withstand through the postal office in case of anything. So lately, I've just been using them um, for scrap, and I love it. I actually got this new rubber stamp set from Daiso, and it was two bucks, and I really, really like it. Um, I haven't found one so far that I enjoy, but I do like this one, and they're all capital, no lowercase. I was looking to see if they had a lowercase one, but they didn't. They actually have a lot of rubber stamp sets um, that I was able to see, but I was trying to limit my... <laughs> My spending, I did get a lot of stuff, more letter sets than most, um, and stuff, but yeah, they had a lot of uh, Disney stuff too, um, which I got. I'm 
I'm just gonna do the November. I'm doing um, kind of like red and autumn tones. I've already started um, thinking about 2021. I definitely want 2020 to just finish, um, but I've been going through kind of to see what my lineup is, and I actually started a new journal for like a bullet journal style for like health and mental health, where I'm gonna track things that I would track normally on my regular planner, but then it would get too clutter, and I wanted something separate for it, um, especially when track my appointments um, and stuff like that and kind of like things that the doctor's saying I can bring it with me like when the doctor's like well, well when do you feel like this or this I kind of have a place for all that for me I am using um, emoji point 38 I believe or sport fountain pen in uh, fine nib, fine, fine nib. Um, the ink that I'm using is the ferris wheel I think candied apple ink and I actually got it as a sample from Yoseka stationery so Yoseka stationery you're able to get samples of inks which I really like before um, committing to an actual ink bottle there's only two that I have in the past committed to and I've gotten full ink bottles because I really like the color um, yeah, I love this pen I actually went to Kinokuniya recently and this was me just cruising around because um, I wanted to see what new manga came in um, and to see they have a lot of Japanese magazines and oftentimes uh, the magazines come with something like a bag or a stationary item and I always I use every page um, for crafting and stuff um, and collages so I was just trying to see and I I gave in and I got a new Kueco fountain pen it's in like a very nice like uh, clear pink like, like pink but not really. Um, and it was, it's, um, it's the same, the Coreco Sport. I'm probably going to do another video. Um, let me know if you guys are interested. Um, separately, just my fountain pen collection, my fountain pen collection and ink collection. Because I do have a lot of ink samples and inks. I definitely want to get more. I definitely added it to my Christmas list for the year. I'm just going to go ahead and put kind of like the major stuff here. This Thursday is Grey's Anatomy Day and Station 19 and my two favorite shows come back. Uh, I guess I've been watching Grey's Anatomy. I can't stop. I know like they're on season 15, I believe. 14? I don't know anymore. I lost count, but I love to watch it. I just can't stop. I love mushroom anything, so I love that this little mushroom sticker was included. Um, and then I'm just gonna add it to the pages, make them really cute. Um, that's what I really like about this style of planning. You got to control where you want things, and it's simple and not too complicated for me. I love these little star stickers. I wish you would do like a whole sheet of just little stars and star fragments stickers. This definitely is super cute. Definitely will look even better on clear sticker paper, but I did the mistake of buying clear sticker paper for a laser printer when I have an inkjet printer. I noticed way, way, way too late. <laughs> so I'm now going ahead and having to order new clear sticker paper because when I open up my shop I definitely want to um, include that clear sticker paper. I think certain designs just look better and clear. And I chose 
purchased this uh, little sticker that had an Albert Camus quote. This is my one of my sticker um, books where I organized. I definitely want to do more like a six ring binder for it instead to keep my sticker collection, but for now that'll do. Um, I'm using right now um, a sticker sheet from Sarek Studio. Um, I love her stuff. And these are super cute and I just feel like they add a little vintage touch to things. And this also is a binder clip um, sticker sheet from Sarka Studio. I always reorder. This is another sticker sheet from Sarka Studio. Um, it's her flora stuff, uh, clear. I really like how it came out and I'm just writing autumn trees, autumn leaves. bring it all together honestly doing this every sunday is just so relaxing like journaling in general is a relaxing thing but getting to plan out my thing i do put kind of like positive affirmations already in my brain of the week and for it to go well and, and stuff and if it doesn't you know things happen but i do look forward to always planning out my week and having kind of an Look.
that is it for my week. Um, again, I am doing a few other tracking on my health bullet journal, which I'm going to go ahead and show you a bit of it. I'm testing it out now because I want to see if this works for me and see what would work for me for the new year. Um, I'm doing, I'm ready ahead and kind of decorated everything sort of um the only thing is the days of the week i can barely see so i'm actually going to take out my sticker sheet of days of the week i'm using the sarica studio um sticker sheets um, i do buy a lot from sarica studio i love her stickers i she has to be like one of my favorite shops love her stuff and just love supporting um, her channel so definitely check her out um, the reason I'm giving this a try to see if this is gonna work for me for the new year or to find like something that I'm comfortable with I want to track what I eat uh, throughout the day if I'm skipping any meals just when I have my follow-ups and appointments with the doctors I'm able to kind of look at my journal as kind of like a guidance um, and stuff like that and just tracking my symptoms and how I'm feeling. Um, I deal with IBS, PCOS, endometriosis, and just a whole bunch of things, unfortunately, that um, I'm just trying to find a balance with everything, and I think that this will kind of help. Um, also tracking my anxiety. What days am I feeling and anxious? Where I can look back, okay, like what kind of help? I mean, sometimes just comes and you don't even know why but I'm gonna put um, down below um, a water tracker um, because I want to drink more water and I notice when I track it and I have the tracker um, I hate to see blank like, I like to check it off so I want to start off by just eight cups a day um, I used to do more um, but I must say that after Having to wear masks for a long time throughout the day, I tend to drink less water and I need to prioritize drinking water um, because I need to stay hydrated and I do often find times where I'm feeling dehydrated and stuff. I don't like um, how the top kind of looks, so I went ahead and I took a little bit more of craft paper and I'm gonna put it on there. And I'm going to write vitamins. I was going to track like meal planning ideas, but um, I'm noticing that I kind of want to do like a separate thing for that in the beginning before I do the weekly. So I'm glad that I'm doing this now to see what works and what I think might not work. Of course, I can't do an autumn spread without having a mushroom in there somehow. I'm gonna have a little mushroom in the corner. Anyone's playing Animal Crossing? I am so happy about the mushrooms. I've been waiting. Um, I'm trying to get all the mushroom DIYs and everything. Um, and I finally got rare mushrooms, so that was that was good. So yeah, I'm all done. If you want to see more, please like this video um, if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe. Um, happy that I got to start this journey and I can't wait to share more stuff with you guys. Bye-bye!